Why do we do this? Like, listen, we all totally care. Like, that's why you're watching this video right now. That's why we're watching, we watch this game tonight. That's why we're upset. We clearly care about this team. Like, we're not here because we don't. So, I don't know. I guess the question is, What was the excuse tonight? <clears throat> and Leaf fans, before we get into it, oh yeah, Sabres fans, yuck it up, go right ahead. This is the biggest day of the calendar for you. Oh, later Leaf fans, drive home safe. Leaf fans are so stupid. You see how much money they'll spend on tickets? Tell you what, keep the money, buy a Sabres jersey, your favorite player, and hopefully they spelled his name right. This loss doesn't hurt more because it was against a divisional rival. This loss hurts more because the Sabres suck. Go wear your no goal shirt again. Go wear that. That shirt is almost old enough to drink in Buffalo, by the way. Tell it to cross the bridge. We'll show it a good time. Wake up hours later. You're high five and benumbed in age. Like, am I in Quebec? Yes, you are, but be chill. It's a holiday here tomorrow. It's cool. Just think up some excuses and tell them to your boss. Excuses. That's what we were talking about. Injuries and the flu and nobody calls any gush. Start penalties for us. You know what we sound like? We, because I've complained about the officiating too, but you know what Leaf fans sound like when they complain about the officiating? You sound like me complaining about traffic. Yes, the traffic sucks. Yes, it's unbearable. And yes, it's often for no good reason. You ever get there and you're like, there is a tow truck taking up six inches of a lane on the DVP? Who gave you a license? But at some point it's like, what did you expect? It's Toronto! It's the DVP! Nobody can drive! The roads are 500! years old! Everything sucks! Leave earlier! The conversation I have with myself every time I leave the house? And Adam and Jesse will be happy to hear this. At the end of the day, whose fault is it? Mom! So is this how it goes? The Leafs were conserving their energy for the first couple periods. You know, the one where they abandoned Freddie Anderson in the first period. And then the one where they went down 2 nothing to the Sabres. They were conserving their energy, right? And then they scored two goals to tie it, but oh, they blew out their stamina meter. It's like we're playing EA Sports UFC. And then the Sabres scored three goals, and it's the knockout punch. Except this isn't a video game. It's what they always do. And another thing. Stop with the Leafs since Keith took over sample size. It's not an inky dinky sample anymore. He's been here three months. No one's talking about December or even January. The team crumples like a cheap suit, but that penalty shouldn't have been a penalty. Turn out to someone who cares. The NHL doesn't. Sorry you lost the old sports lottery there, Skip. Sorry you cheer for a bum team in a bum league. So what are you gonna do? The league doesn't know how to make a call. They don't know how to make a suspension. What are you gonna do? Are, are you finally gonna stand up for yourself? Are you gonna leave? Are you done? You're done with the sport. You're done with the team. Maybe I'll cheer for a new team. Yeah, maybe you'll do that. Or maybe... You'll figure it out and deal with it like I am. Quit looking at me like that. What do you think I have this just to look at it? And don't use the joke. Oh, it's the cup. Sabres fans don't even know what that looks like. You don't remember the Leafs ever winning a cup, all right? Your dad does not remember the Leafs winning a cup. Shut up. You can talk about the cup when they actually win one instead of bragging about a conference final the team went to 27 years ago, which is four conference final losses ago, the second most recent coming to Buffalo. I wish Eichel scored a hat trick. Then he could tell the Leaf fans to sit down again like he does every game in Buffalo because no one goes. As fans throw their hats down onto the ice and one lands perfectly on the second R in Sabres because I don't know, yeah, I've already used that joke. I'm sorry, my feelings are hurt and I'm gonna adjust it. There you go. It's torture. It's actually torture. Like what they put us through. Aren't you gonna talk about Korshkov? Yeah, Korshkov's goal was great. Woo, well, aren't you gonna talk about Hyman? Yeah, oh, when he tied the game? When Zach Hyman tied the game? The guy who works hard every single game, the single solitary guy who works hard every single game? <laughs> that guy who tied the game up and gave me hope. The team gave me hope. The first five minutes of the third period, I'm like, oh my God, these guys are murderers. Oh my God, these guys are the best team in the league. They can hang with anybody. The Leafs can hang with absolutely anybody in the league. You hear that? They can hang with you, they can take on the Blues, they can take on the Bruins, they can take on anybody in the entire National Hockey League if ever 
every game lasts for five minutes. Do you hear me? So I'm, I'm just surfing Twitter as I rant because I'm looking for things to yell about. Are, are you seeing this? The Sabres, when you see the border traffic, oh, that's a, that's a sick chirp there. And how about this? Jack Eichel has now scored more goals per game against the Leafs than Alex of I have found it. I have found it. The single saddest thing on the internet. I have both a Twitter and Reddit account, and I found it. Finally, the saddest damn thing. Here's how you know things are going rough for you, all right? I'm, I'm a Leaf fan. I've, I'm speaking from experience here. I used to work for Leafs TV, and I used to write the news ticker. <gasps> and I was an intern, and when I did that, it was the 09-10 season. That was the year where they didn't have a first-round pick because they traded for Phil Kessel. It was great! And under the news ticker, I was looking for anything, any damn thing, to put on the ticker. And I put that Carl Gunnarsson is second among NHL rookie defensemen in plus minus behind Victor Hedman. And I posted that stupid stat because it was the only barely even relevant thing about my team. Sound familiar? Anyway, enough about your crappy team and back to my crappy team. Because at the end of the day, listen, I mean, the Leafs are currently in a playoff spot. They're four points up on the Panthers. Life is good, right? Life is wonderful. Except, we have no idea what team is going to show up any given night. We don't know. Is it going to be the team that can hang with anybody? Is it going to be the team that sucks at the sport that they play? Is it going to be... We don't know. We don't know. Forget that game. What? Like the beginning of the game? Dude, it's updated. It's wiped clean. It is magnadoodle every five minutes. And honestly, I can cope with it. I'm fine. Listen, if you watch sports, you are signed up for the long haul. It's a lottery ticket with your feelings. It's a lottery ticket with your happiness. You never know, but uh, oh, I should probably catch my breath before I do this. the lottery a lot. <clears throat> Listen, I know I just chugged four beers out of a cup. A replica cup. I, oh my god, I hope I get to see the real thing one day. I know that. This might seem like an overreaction. I saw a tweet the other day. It was adorable. I just discovered that Steve Dangle has been doing these videos for years. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> and they get to experience it through YouTube videos. I lived it. <laughs> oh my god, even you, like, can you imagine caring about the Leafs this much? <laughs> imagine tying your happiness to this team. <laughs> uh. They have a home and home against the Penguins. They are going to bring us back in, probably with two solid efforts, maybe even two wins, because that's the sort of mean thing they would do. That was, if I heard the broadcast correctly, the Leafs' second last back-to-back -back of the season. Please be right. Please be a thing. They've played three games in four nights. I don't want to join the excuse train. But, if they only got to do that one more time, I'm cool with it. Someone can tell the schedule makers to stop being so mean. Someone can tell NHL officiating that Nazem Kadri is no longer a Leaf and they can drop the vendetta if they'd like to. And someone tell the Leafs that nobody, no fan base in the entire league, in the entire sport, in any sport, loves their team the way Leaf fans do. If we didn't, we wouldn't still be here. 
Ask yourself why we'd still be here. Exactly. We love you. Shut up. We love you. Chill. Whatever you got blocking you, messing you up, chill. We love you. We did a parade last year. Had a couple hitches in the giddy up. We'll fix it. And it'll be dope. I'll see you in June. It'll be great. That's how it's going to work, right? Good pep talk. Good talk. Here's my book title, if you read it out loud. This team is ruining my life! But I love them. See, even though it's quiet, I love you. I love this team. Get her done. We're all dying for you to get her done. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends that I have a book tour coming up. And no, I will not be chugging beers. Like, I, I don't plan on it anyway. I don't know. The, the store has it. I, I'm pretty sure they'd be mad if you chugged beers in an indigo. And it, they usually have a Starbucks attack. I don't know. Listen, man, just be cool.